Welcome back. Oh, goodness, you guys. I feel better today. I um, still have a headache, but I'm going to power through it. Um, here's what I'd like to uh, do today. I've got this tray out, and I've brushed. Well, there is a clear coat already poured and cured underneath this um, because I was going to use this for something else and then um, the other night I just happened to look outside and there was the most beautiful sunset and there were three colors there was red orange and yellow surrounded by blue sky and I thought to myself, I wonder if I can create that in resin. Because I'm, I am a huge sucker for sunsets. So um, this already had a clear coat in the bottom of it. So I went ahead and uh, dusted it with this uh, chameleon powder that I absolutely love that shifts. Um, it shifts from pinks and purples and teals. So I've mixed up some resin and I got out three colors that I could find that were close enough to those colors. So I got out Let's Resins, Color Shift, Rose Red, Mica Powder. I got out the Color Shift Orange by Let's Resin. And then their Mica Powder in the Lemon. And we're going to see if we can create that sunset it was just absolutely gorgeous when I used to be a photographer um, me and my daughter Caitlin we used to go chase sunsets like we would look to see what time the Sun was gonna set and then we would drive like a bat out of you know what and we would go and try to get photos. I've got some really stunning photos of sunsets and um, because I just I love sunsets. They're just they're just stunning. Um, so anyway um, and I thought surely I can create this. So I'm gonna try. I'm not promising anything but I'm gonna try. So, we'll see here. Yeah, while I've been uh, laying around, um, I've been binge watching some YouTube channels. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched Nick Zametti? If you've never watched his channel, oh my goodness. <laughs> and the only reason I started watching him was because a while back I recall someone commenting and saying that it was a smart comment, you know, like a smart ASS comment. And they were being, you know, mean about it. But, um,. You know, they made a comment to me, well, aren't you just the next Zick, Nick, Nick Zametti? And I never really looked him up because I didn't know who he was. And then when I seen that, you know, he was part of Maker Central, which I do want go on their, you know, their um, Facebook group because they've got some pretty cool people on there that make some pretty cool stuff. So, and then I seen Tracy from Mini Scenes GB, when she went to Maker Central this year, she took a picture with him, which, you know, was pretty cool. But anyway, um, so while I've had the time, because I haven't felt good and been, you know, laying around um, in between burpee sessions, I just got to his channel and I started watching his videos and oh you guys 
He is hilarious. I mean, the man has anxiety. He told us that in his video, one of his videos. And I can see, I can see why. He bounces off the walls like none other. But his videos are hilarious. I mean, hilarious. If you guys haven't watched him, you should go out and watch a couple of his videos. They just crack me up. Just the stuff that he makes and how he gets to where he gets and the, the video compilations that he does are just craziness. Just craziness. And of course, you know, these are older videos from back when he first started five, six years ago. And they're quite funny. Quite funny. All right, so I'm mixing some a little bit of resin into these so I can mix up the powders. Try to mix up the same amount of each. Red is so pretty. It's a rose red. It does really look like a rose red, for sure. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I was just gonna do like a dirty pour, but I changed my mind because I really wanna be able to control how I put my colors down. So, we're going to start with the red at the top, and we're just going to pour it all along here. And we're going to go in with the orange. I actually have some more clear left. Should I mix up some more colors? And pour some more in there? It's not quite full yet. I 
can mix up just a little bit of each. Let's see how much I got here. Bag. It's got a all right, that'll work. All right, I'll mix up just a little bit more for each one. Okay, we'll put the red down first. Put the orange down. Yep, I think we're going to need the yellow too. Just want them to blend, blend together. colors in there. It's orange. So we'll let that spread for a little bit. I'll get to I'll, um, torch it for bubbles and as I see them pop up and then I will come back to you when this is ready. Okay guys. All right. We'll see you in a little while. All right, guys. Get my gloves off here so I can touch my phone. All right, we'll see you in a little while. Okay, bye. Okay, welcome back. It looks pretty cool from this side. Don't know what it's going to look like on the other. It's ready. It's probably just... Come on. There we go. It just likes the mold. It wants to stay in there. No, don't take me out. Ugh. It's still, still a little sticky over here. What's that all about? It's kind of strange. Right there and right there. Huh. Odd. It's just right there in that section. It's a little weird. 
because everywhere else it's completely done. I'm afraid to take it out. It's like it's it's stuck to the mold. I wonder if I went and put it in the freezer for a few, if that would help. I know I've heard some people say that if you stick it in the freezer, it'll help take that off of there. Let me go do that. I'll be right back. Well, guys, that's all it took, but now my thing, hopefully when it chills out a little bit, it'll settle back down. <laughs> I just needed to put it in the freezer for a few. Now when it cools off a little bit, it'll settle back down. Yeah, that's what it was going to do. It was going to stick to that mold right there. But I got it. I don't know. I've seen that on YouTube somewhere. Somebody uh, said that they put them in the freezer. And that's exactly what I did. Now I just got to... Okay. So, as soon as that chills out a little bit because it's frozen. It, my freezer don't take long to freeze. Um, whoops, it goes this way. Okay. Now, what I was thinking about doing with this was on my Cricut cutting out a silhouette, a black silhouette of some kind of a a design. I haven't got that far yet. Um, that's just a little weird right there. It's still soft. So I gotta remember to keep my finger off of that. It's just right there on the corner for some reason. So let me figure out what Everywhere else is completely cured, just right there in that corner. Um, let me go and figure out what kind of a silhouette I want to cut out, and I will be right back. All right, and that'll give that time to chill out a little bit. So I will be back in a little bit. All right, okay, guys, we are back. So I got the thing figured out and it's going to fit in there just like that and it is an African safari scene and the reason I chose it is because the uh, African safari has a lot of meaning uh, to me and especially to my oldest daughter. I've told you guys many times she's a vet. Um, and when she was in vet school, she got to do two years of rotation in Africa. And so that was a really cool thing for her. And so whenever I get the opportunity, I try to make her things that have to do with Africa. And so she's going to have an office of her own in her new home and so i thought this might be kind of cool for that so let me get some transfer tape and we'll get that transferred on there and then we're going to put some resin over top of it slide that up there and i got this image from creative fabrica I have a membership with them and so I get lots and lots of images from them. Sorry, this is going to be loud for a minute. If I can 
get this picked up over here. Set this over here for a second. Let me do it over here. And I used a matte black vinyl versus a shiny vinyl just because I didn't want it to be shiny because I'm going to put resin on top of it. So Let's see if I can keep this from rolling off the table here. As I've said before, I use these gigantic rolls of transfer tape because they're just so much easier to stick your piece on and then just cut it off. And voila, you're done. All right. Let me grab a whatchamajigger, that's the word of the day, whatchamajigger. And I use a lot of tech wrap vinyl and a lot of HTV Rant. Um, tech wrap is my absolute favorite. I just love their vinyl because it's like the best vinyl to weed and transfer, which is what this is. It weeds like a dream and it transfers like a dream. See? <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. And weeding is just the bomb. All right, let's see if I can get this in here now, like it should be. Cut these corners off just a second. My fans are blowing, and so... with my stuff away. I probably should have cut that bottom part off too. One momento. It's getting ready to storm here. Sorry guys. trying to cut sticky tape is I should have put it at the or cut it at the bottom when I cut it off. Oops. I always make life dif more difficult for myself. All right. This mold, I tell you, it's got braces underneath it, but it causes it to be lumpy. Doesn't make any sense. See like where the braces are underneath these? It causes high spots where these things are. It's kind of silly.
There we have it. It's all stuck down. Perfect. <laughs> you got the little monkeys in the trees, the giraffes, the lions, the elephants. All right, we're gonna pour this, uh, just a fine, or just a very thin coat on top of it. Seal that in. I wish I had, um, I should have cut out some birds too, but I wasn't thinking about birds. Get my heat gun. That's it. It's more of the side. It's even everywhere else. Trees are moving that I've never seen move before. <laughs> Hope we're not gonna be like in the thunder or a tornado warning or anything silly like that. Okay, okay, all right, guys. Hopefully we don't have any power outages. See on the other side. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, really. Um, I'll get pictures of this um, at the end of the video. And thanks for coming in with me on this uh, cute little adventure. My little African safari. And, uh, oh, oh, goodness, I better talk fast. Hit that like button, subscribe button, share it out there into YouTube world. And I appreciate your support and we'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone. Love you. Bye.